So we didn't see Jamar Chase in 2020 because he did opt out from the college football season. But when we saw him in 2019, he basically won LSU their national championship. What's the outlook for him with that 2020 year not being within his data? So when it's all said and done, I think he's going to be one of the best prospects that my model has ever seen, which dates back to 2006. And there's really a simple way to think about Jamar Chase. In 2019, that was his last season because like you noted, he didn't play in 2020. In 2019, he outproduced Justin Jefferson in the same offense. And Chase was a sophomore and Justin Jefferson was a junior. And as we know, Jefferson just came into the league and dominated the league. He broke the rookie receiving record in the NFL. Now, I'm not predicting that for Jamar Chase, but it just goes to show how good he is as a prospect. He's got an elite breakout age, he's got elite production, and he's got pretty good size too. Given he's more of this physical, given, given he plays more of this physical style, um, and given his metrics, I think that he comps pretty well to Justin Blackman. Now, I know that a lot of people will hear the name Justin Blackman and they'll get turned off, but Blackman was really, really good. He just had off the field issues. So I think Chase is the real deal. I expect him to be an elite wideout in the NFL.